Aloha. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Master Paul. Very happy to be connecting with you today. It is the 3rd of January 2018 and it is a Wednesday. Hump day, as some people call it. And in certain parts of the world it's actually Thursday. And so today I'll be focusing on what is the soul light era. I'm hoping that there will be a lot of people that go, I'd really like to know the answer to that. What is the soul light era? Because I'm going to share with you some interesting information today that you may be somewhat aware of and, and may not be aware of. <clears throat> and it will tend to tie in a lot of the wisdom and teachings uh, that Master Shah has brought to humanity and answer a lot of the questions as to why. So for those that are new, please stick around. You might be happily surprised. For those that are veterans and have come back again and again, thank you for your unconditional service. Thank you for your presence. And thank you for being a, um, a carrier of the light to be able to go out uh, and spread this information that will bring more light to humanity. It truly is acknowledged and quite well recorded in the heavenly levels. So thank you for that. <clears throat> Today I was busy posting uh, my podcast from last week. And also I was enjoying, as I hope many of you were, the live event coming from London in which there is a brand new uh, Dao Chong and Master Shah Dao Healing Center created. This is the 10th one on the planet and uh, I will touch on that today in relationship to the Soul Light Era and the significance of that for your soul journey, for my soul journey and for the collective humanity's soul journey. <coughs> Excuse me. And aloha Johnny, we'll call and acknowledge whoever uh, Facebook hasn't acknowledged everybody that's popped in here, but we'll do our best. <coughs> welcome LaRonda. Aloha Kathy Arnold. Aloha and welcome Nola Curtis. Welcome Janice Crosby. And welcome also to Jose. Aloha Erica. Welcome Nada Nada. Aloha Vanessa. Welcome Candy Cornett and Johnny. Welcome also to Larissa. And aloha to Gina Vittoria. Hi, Lisa. <coughs> and Lisa says, yes, it was awesome. The London event, I agree. Welcome, Pat. And welcome also to Dylan Basu. You're welcome to hit the share button letting other people know about today. Excuse me. Yeah, I, we just completed the event in London. It was about three hours. And as kind of normal with any of the uh, uh, events that happen in a center when it's opening, there was festivities and fun and singing and <clears throat> beyond, beyond, beyond uh, measure blessings. Um, the more people start to understand about the power that has been transferred to this person known as Master Shah, uh, the more they start to comprehend the value of the centers that are on earth. So uh, I'll touch on that, like I said. But it was very, very uh, huge to watch the blessings given to that center and the people that were there, <laughs> beyond blessed. <clears throat> so just on a side note, a very important side note, there is a beautiful soul that many people are not familiar with and his name is Buddha, Amitabha Buddha. Uh, a lot of people are familiar with the Buddha uh, from the tradition, traditional teachings of Buddhism. But in factuality, <clears throat> in the Buddha that most people know about from the Buddha teachings, in his deepest meditations came across original Buddha, which goes by the name of Amitabha, or in Chinese it's Amitofu. Namo Amitofu. Namo is a term of respect, like... Uh, Mr. and Sir, but uh, uh, you know your benevolence, your your uh, uh, honorable one. And so this is an image of Namami Tofu. There's quite a few various images of him, but uh, it's Namami Tofu's birthday today, and the information that has been brought down for thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of years <coughs> is that 
Amitofu was on Earth about a million years ago, and uh, since then he's one of the top three enlightened souls in all creation. So again, this is way before Buddhism came about. This is the original Buddha, and this is his birthday today. So it's a very special day. And uh, it's a good reason to talk about the Soul Light Era because there's aspects of it that are connected to the great wisdoms that that soul has brought to humanity. So welcome also to uh, Dylan Basu, welcome to Archana, welcome Candy Etheridge, uh, Eldridge, excuse me, welcome Lotzia, welcome also to Sue Bly, Aloha Carla, Aloha Rhonda Panin, and welcome also to Roshan Dell and Laura Shelton. Welcome Don Robinson, thanks for coming, thank you for hitting the share button <coughs> to let other people know about today's live stream. So we'll get started pretty shortly here. But thank you all for your presence. So I will go into the subject matter of what is the soul light era uh, right after we go ahead and connect heart to heart and soul to soul. So we will apply some of the uh, four power technique and we start that by placing our hands in soul light soul service hand position which is a mudra. We drop the left hand in front of the heart center the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. Aloha Ganu and Aloha Nelson. And we close our eyes and let all will invite in the beings of light, all those serving the light side, and ask them to serve us today. And then we will chant to connect us heart to heart and soul to soul. <coughs> Excuse me. So, dear beloved divine down source, dear our beloved creator, dear our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, beloved Namo Ami Tofu. Lingui Sheng Shur, Kuan Yin, Happy Buddha, Medicine Buddha, Money Buddha, Dear Beloved Jesus and Mother Mary, Dear Beloved Krishna, Dear Beloved Ganesha, Dear Beloved Angels, Healing Angels, Archangels, Masters, Ascended Masters, Gurus, Lamas, Sifu, Saints, Buddhas, Bodhisattvas, Soul of Beloved Mother Earth and our Beloved Son, Dear the Soul <coughs> of Heaven's Animals. We love you, we honor you, respect you, we invite you to please be present at this time. To please offer whatever guidance is highest and best and most appropriate for every one of us to hear. Please offer blessings to each and every one of us the entire time of this live stream as appropriate. Please bless us to clear blockages in our soul, heart, mind, and body that we might further align to the soul light era Please borrow my mouth today as I offer wisdom and teachings on the Soul Light Era and assist as much as possible those wisdoms and teachings to truly clear blockages and bring higher wisdom to all those whose ears it falls upon. I am extremely, extremely honored and grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Dear the Source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, transmitted to all souls and all universes, love you, honor you, respect you. Could you please come? We invite all souls in all universes to please chant this source soul song of love, peace, and harmony with us. For any new souls that will watch this at any point uh, now or in the future, this is a mantra. It is a healing mantra. It is a miracle healing mantra. And it can be downloaded complimentary. The copyrights have been removed at lovepeaceharmony.org. Lovepeaceharmony.org. Write it down. Make sure you download the song. Play it 24-7 and watch the miracles happen. Welcome Kristen, welcome Jota, welcome Lisa Zarniak, uh, welcome Thweba, and um, welcome Gnu. Let us chant. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, La, Li. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula. Lula, 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 Lula. Oh, I wash in her ling. Oh, I tron ran lay. Oh, ling, her mooser shung. 
相爱平安和谐，相爱平安和谐。I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love. Peace and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, let's see if we can make it through with as little throat clearing as possible. So, thank you all for coming. Welcome, Lolly. Welcome also to Rushi. And if I missed anyone, please forgive me. Thank you again for hitting the share button. Today's subject matter, today's wisdom teachings and blessings, the soul light era. What is the soul light era? The soul light era has a date that it began, it has a length of time, and it has a purpose. There is something that I want to state leading up to this. I'm guessing a lot of you can probably relate to some of what I'll share with you. Around the age of 18, 19, that was when I started waking up. Maybe some of you started waking up sooner, or maybe some of you a little bit later. What I mean by waking up, I mean searching out things spiritual, questioning the organized religions, waking up. <clears throat> Read a lot of spiritual books. And for almost a good 20 years, I witnessed a lot of activity happening in the world and a lot of activity happening uh, with my spiritual awakening, but not a lot of answers and not a lot of um, connectivity to the source, to the creator, to God, to what you want to call it. I wasn't a big fan of the organized religions myself, not speaking for you. And so I felt a little lost with their messages and with the spiritual information that came, it was valuable, <coughs> excuse me, but it wasn't necessarily um, clear and direct and step by step A, B, C, D, this is how you get to the end of the alphabet and once you get there this is exactly how you reach enlightenment and this is why. There was a lot of unanswered questions, a lot. There's a lot less now because I'm working with an enlightened being, Master Shah, who provides a lot of answers in his 20 plus books. So welcome CJ, <coughs> welcome May. Uh, Tatatuta, welcome a goat, welcome um, Angela Flauta and Lina Augusto. And so, when I came across this teacher, Master Shah, it was the third enlightened being I had trained under, and he was the first one that actually brought a significant amount of answers, answers that I've been looking for the previous 25 years, uh, and had gotten bits and pieces of, but none of the pieces were sewn together to make a a um, a working quilt, if you will, you know. You can't keep warm on a bunch of little one-inch squares, but if you sew them all together, you can have a nice warm blanket that makes a lot of sense. So I had lots of one-inch square pieces with lots of wisdom, but nothing to put it all together. And that's why I appreciate Master Shah. He brought that. I came to later understand who is Master Shah and what is his purpose here on Earth. And I'm not going to sugarcoat today, okay? <clears throat> This information will challenge some of your mindsets, attitudes, and beliefs because you want to believe a certain thing because that's where your comfort zone is. But I've come to understand after literally 30 years of searching and getting real answers the last 10 years, witnessing miracles and then being given the, the authority through Master Shah to offer miracles, once you do that for 10 years, you don't question it anymore. And time is short for humanity. Time is very, very short. We are in the midst of a massive shift from darkness to light. And in that shift, there could be a great loss of life. There could be a lot of people who don't make it to the higher layers that where we're headed to because they refuse to awaken or they, they want to stick to their old patterns. The soul light era is movement into a new era. 
This is not, we're going to, to 4D, basic general information, okay? We've heard that basic stuff for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 years. That's the one in squares I'm talking about. We all hear the very, very basic stuff, okay? We all have our own variations of it. But I'm not talking about the snippets that don't make any sense. I'm talking about a tapestry that is sewn together and gives you a direct pathway. The soul light era is a time frame. So I'm going to read to you from one of Master Shah's earlier books. This book, let me see when it was released. The print date on it. <coughs> Excuse me. 2009. Okay, it's 2017 now. So this is an eight-year-old book. Welcome Julia Abbott. Welcome Natasha. Welcome Zilke. Welcome Katrina Ross. And if I missed your name, excuse me. And thank you uh, for sharing. So on page 14 of the book called The Power of Soul, I recognize it's backwards in your, uh, get this book. This is a foundational book. came out nine years ago. And without it, you're going to miss a lot of important information. <clears throat> the Soul Light Era. Page 17. On August 8, 2003, the divine appointed Yuan Shi Tianzun, one of the top Taoist saints in history, to form a committee and lead a new era called the Soul Light Era. The highest divine committee has 12 members. In the committee, the first meeting in heaven, the divine formally announced, the divine being God, formally announced that the last era was ending. August 8, 2003. How do you get that kind of exact information? Who has the awareness to say on this date, heaven had a meeting and God decided the time frame has ended here, we're making a massive shift and we're moving forward and we're gonna call it the soul light era. Who has that kind of connection? Pay attention and you'll start to understand who is Master Shah. Welcome, Tony Seymour. I apologize for clearing my throat, but it will help me to serve you. Nguyen Yang Yang, the top spiritual leader of the last era in Zhou Tian, which was literally 15,000 years before, he was a very high level saint in charge in heaven, underneath God, of course, but he was in charge, was uplifted to heaven at that time. So when a very high level saint completes their responsibility, serves humanity, they can be uplifted and hang out at the highest layers and never have to reincarnate again. That's what was stated here. Souls who reside in the level called Tian Wai Tian, which is where heaven resides, where God is at. We're not talking, um, we're not talking about the angels that come down. We're not talking about the saints that we know of, like our Jesuses. Those souls are still not God and God level. They are below God and God level. When you're at God and God level, then you don't reincarnate anymore. Okay? <clears throat> what that's referred to as Chen Wai Tian, which means heaven before heaven. That's the literal translation. Many great teachers from various spiritual traditions in history, including Jesus, Mary, Namo Amitofu, uh, Amitabha, we just spoke about Amitabha, and ancient Buddhas of the Pure Land, Lao Tzu and more. All of these have served humanity to uplift their soul standing, to reach the highest layers uh, before heaven, Tiamai Tian, the heaven before heaven. But the ultimate goal in the soul light era, this is an important statement, it's highlighted. The ultimate goal of the soul light era is to join every soul as one to reach universal soul enlightenment. Every soul, not the seven billion on humanity. There's a lot more. You, you know, there's all kinds of UFO activity, all kinds of life outside of Earth. The soul light era is to bring all souls back to one. That's a pretty big thing. Now, when I first started studying, uh, way before I met Master Shah, there was lots of other spiritual wisdom. And one of the things that the other spiritual wisdoms touch on, which my teacher touches on, is that Creator breathes out and breathes in. 
What does that mean? That means from the nothingness, nothingness expands and all things are created. And that expansion goes and goes and goes because thought creates new. Literally with every thought, you're expanding the universe. <clears throat> and so all creation is expanding. But there comes a time, according to ancient, 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 beyond ancient wisdom, there comes a time when the breath, when the exhale starts an inhale return. Okay? The Solite era is an era in which the inhale begins. When everything starts, everything starts to return back to Creator. Everything. That means awakening has to occur. That means darkness has to go away. That means that uh, in order for you to clear the karma blockages and become the light vessel that you already truly are, you have to go through the steps of awakening and clearing the blockages. The Soul Light Era, August 8, 2003, was announced. The inhale, okay? Start to put the pieces together. In Chinese, the ultimate goal is expressed as Wan Ling Rong He. Wan Ling means all souls. Rong He means become one. Okay? Everyone and everything has a soul. In order to enlighten every soul, we have to enlighten our own souls first. Then enlighten the souls of our family members and our loved ones. Then we enlighten the souls of our friends and our neighbors and our colleagues. Next, we enlighten the souls of human beings in our cities and our country. Then we enlighten the souls of humanity. Then we enlighten the souls of Mother Earth and all planets, stars, galaxies, and all universes. This is its not a small statement. You don't, you don't hear the Dalai Lama uh, or any of the other gurus that are out there that are very well respected, very well known. They don't say, I am here to bring all universes together. They don't say that. They're referring only to humanity with their efforts. Master Shah, his total mission in life is to gather all souls in humanity and in all universes and assist them to become to one. It's a much, much bigger responsibility. Start to pay attention to who this person is. Welcome Raul, welcome Crystal, welcome Deborah Anderson, welcome Nina, welcome Carol, uh, and welcome Tony Seymour. <clears throat> Everything has a soul, a human being has a soul, a body system has a soul, an organ has a soul, a cell has a soul, RNA and DNA has a soul. A galaxy has a soul. Mother Earth has a soul. Mother Earth is going through an awakening. Mother Earth is elevating her frequency. Mother Earth has a soul. Well, guess what? So does our universe. Guess what? So does all universes. Everything goes through a process of frequency upgrade and return back to source. Everything is, goes either exhaling and in the process of creation and understanding, or everything is inhaling, which is the path that was just begun to return back to the heart of the Creator. So this is a huge task. This is not a small task. This is a divine calling and a divine direction. That is what the Soul Light Era is. I am honored to make a spiritual calling for the divine to every reader, every soul of humanity, and every soul of all universes. Let us join hearts and souls together to offer our unconditional service to all humanity and all souls in order to create love, peace, and harmony. So that's a portion of this. Now I'm going to fast forward 11 years. This book just came out, Tao Science. Literally just came out about a month ago. And there is a page or two in here on the Soul Light Era from a more uh, enlightened and current rounded perspective. Okay. <clears throat> Soul... Now this is this is science, okay? This is science connected to uh, the nature of spirituality. That's what this book does. It bridges science and spirituality. Okay, soul is the content of information, the carrier of information of all time. Soul is the content of information within ones, within your, my, and collectively our vibrational field. One's soul determines one's heart, 
mind, energy, and matter. Soul is the boss because soul precedes everything. To know the power of soul is to understand the highest purpose of our lives and to utilize the highest power that we have. What is the soul light era? To use the highest power that we have. Because you came from original source, one soul. Exhalation, all souls were created. Creation continued. And soul light era is the beginning of the inhale. So when we comprehend the nature of our soul at a much, much higher level, we are on the highest power path. Welcome to Artie Patil and welcome also Sharon uh, White Wolf. So then it says, Soul Light Era. The beginning of the 21st century is the transition period into a new era for humanity. Mother Earth and all universes. Not just humanity, and Mother Earth and all universes. This era is named the Soul Light Era. The Soul Light Era began August 8, 2003. It will last at least, it will last at least 15,000 years. The natural disasters, human catastrophes, social upheavals, war, terrorism, disease, nuclear weapons, pollution, economic challenges, energy crisis, vanishing species, global warming, and many other phenomena that we are currently a part of is part of this transition. On the individual level, our level, the number of people who suffer from pain, depression, anxiety, fear, grief, and worry, as well as chronic diseases, relationship and financial challenges, is escalating at an alarming rate. It's going dunk, 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 dunk. So isn't that interesting? It's not deniable. Everyone's going, yep, yeah, mm-hmm. It's not deniable. What has been stated cannot be changed. So what does this have to do with the soul light era? Let us continue. <clears throat> Humanity has gone through many stages of history with different levels of consciousness. The first level of consciousness is called survival consciousness. In this stage, people focus on physical survival. They, are, they use human labor, natural resources, animal plants, marriage, human reproduction, war, law, and more to survive and to propagate. Their beliefs and cultures. This period of human history is dominated by fighting for land, wealth, physical resources, and many other material objects. Let's call this era the force over matter. First time I've ever heard that. Force over matter. Not mind over matter. Forcefulness over matter. The second level of consciousness is energy consciousness. This is from Tao Science, for those of you that are wondering. Tao Science just came out about a month ago. It's book number 21 or 22 from Master Shah. <clears throat> the second level of consciousness is energy consciousness. Welcome, Ilona. In this stage, people strive to cultivate their energy. They developed practices such as yoga, kung fu, qigong, um, machines, tools, weapons, vehicles, domesticating animals, mining for coal, drilling for oil, cultivating nuclear power, nuclear weapons, medicines, and many other technologies as well as laws, rules, and even wars to enhance their ability to use energy. Let's call this area, this era, era, energy over matter. So there was prior to that force over matter, early civilization, then energy over matter. <clears throat> the third level of consciousness is mind consciousness. In this stage, people realize the power of the mind. Mind has the capacity to process information and it has the capacity to direct information. People use computers and many other instruments to enhance their mind power. They also use psychoanalysis, mind control techniques, yoga, meditation, kung fu, qigong, and many other ways to control the purity of the mind. They use media, propaganda, marketing and advertising, books, videos, music, movies, and more to influence people's minds. Let's call this era mind over matter. So early civilization was force over matter, just forcefulness, just taking over, beating each other up. Second area was energy over matter where, where they used uh, dominating conditions uh, and 
computers, things of that nature to take over, to control. Third level is mind over matter. The fourth level of consciousness, welcome Christy Mayer, welcome Shelley, is heart consciousness. In this stage, people realize the power of the heart. The function of our spiritual energy is to receive information. The function of our spiritual energy is to receive information. We invented the telescope, microscope, accelerators. We invented particle detectors, microwave detectors, infrared and ultraviolet spectrometry, gamma ray detection, MRI machines, and many more instruments, as well as satellite, space shuttles, and more to expand our ability to receive information. However, most of humanity has not fully realized the power of our own hearts and the deep profound truth about heart over matter. What our heart receives is what we manifest. We have not opened our own hearts enough to receive this high level wisdom, knowledge, and the high level messages. Heart disease is currently the number one cause of death in the world. Um, so Christy, how do you join? You, you like and then you subscribe. If you can't do it now, you can do it at the end of the stream. The fifth level of consciousness is soul consciousness. Recall that soul is the information within us soul is the carrier of information of all lifetimes. Your soul never dies. From the beginning of creation until now, soul carries all lifetimes of information. The fifth level of consciousness is soul consciousness. It's above the heart. Recall that soul is the information within us. At this stage, we recognize our soul has many miraculous abilities. Miraculous abilities. Not kidding. Such as intuition, direct knowing, telepathy, clairvoyance, distance healing, teleportation, and so much more that is currently questioned in humanity. We can use these soul abilities to achieve great success in every aspect of our life. We realize the importance of our souls. When we realize the importance of our souls, heal the soul first and the healing of all that's beneath it. The heart consciousness, the mind, mind over matter, the energy, and the body. Remember, Master Shaw's basic teaching, right? How do you transform your suffering? You raise your frequency. How do you raise your frequency? You surround yourself with the higher frequencies, such as heaven and Mother Earth frequencies. Anything that has those higher frequencies is an example of that. But we also must purify our heart. Heart blockages are selfishness, greed. Okay, Heart blockages are, are um, me, me, me. Mind blockages, negativity, ego, attachments, negative minds, attitudes, beliefs. We have to purify these. These also help us elevate our frequency, become one with our higher self, reach higher layers of enlightenment. But the entirety of humanity, when you follow this path, the entirety of humanity was going through body level blockages called force over matter, and then energy level blockages in which they tried to use machines and whatnot to push and force. And then they got to mind over matter, which is the era that we're finishing up and a mind over matter, uh, obviously they realize that mind has power, but it's been manipulated through movies, television, sexuality, blah, blah, blah. A lot of manipulation, okay? So, and it's manipulated to keep you and me from waking up even more and realizing that we have far more power than anything else out there because uh, we are, are unable to, to access it and see it because we're constantly being bombarded by these control mechanisms. The fourth level is heart consciousness, which we have not awakened to. Heart consciousness is hearing very clearly the messages from heaven, responding to those, operating from the heart, 
uh, the ten das, greatest love, compassion, forgiveness, light, humility, uh, 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 flourishing, gratitude, harmony, okay, service, enlightenment. These are heart-related wisdoms and intelligences that we're just starting to open up to. It's always been there, but we have to wake up to that heart consciousness. Soul consciousness is the highest layer. We begin to see the greater potentials, the deeper meanings, and the higher purposes of our lives. We connect with culture, heal, transform, and enlighten our souls. This is the era of soul over matter. The scientific resolution consummated scientific resolution consummated the era of force over matter. The industrial revolution consummated the energy over matter. The information age started. The era of information age is, uh, is mind over matter. Tao science will take us from the information age to the soul light era. Tao science. Why Tao science? Why will it take us to the soul light era? Because the mind is stuck in science if i can't see it touch it feel it i don't believe it too many people have lost their faith in a lot of the um organized forced uh belief systems out there very few true pure um religious belief systems most of them have an agenda most of them are control based on some level and so uh when science and spirituality connect when one honors and accepts the other uh, when 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 science realizes that spirituality and science are not separate that soul is the boss that karma can be measured that light can be measured that all of these things are an aspect of soul then everything will enter into a higher consciousness and the entirety of humanity and everything else will take another deep inhale back towards original creation I will continue a little bit more <clears throat> welcome Steffi and welcome Sanjita the power of soul consists of two aspects one is higher wisdom and one is broader knowledge the other is miraculous abilities and powers. So two aspects, higher wisdom and broader knowledge and miraculous abilities and powers. Soul is the content of our information. Our souls contain vast information. Some of the information is accumulated through our past actions, behavior, speech, and even thoughts. Some from our ancestors and some from our connections with Mother Earth, Heaven, and more. Assessing our vast soul information can provide us with massive and high-level wisdom and knowledge. Many people have heard of the Akashic Records. Akashic is a Sanskrit word for air. In Hindi, Akash means sky or heaven. The Akashic Records are records of all events. Thoughts, words, emotions, and intents have never, uh, that have ever occurred. So it's a record of every thought, word, event that has ever, ever occurred. Thoughts, don't forget. It includes thoughts as well. But there are only anecdotal accounts, but no scientific evidence for the existence of the Akashic Records. In Tao science, everyone and everything has a soul. Soul is the content of information. Science wants information. Science operates on information. So they're starting to link that soul carries information. Science wants information. We're, th this is about teaching science to look for the information over here because that's where it's at. In Tao science, everyone and everything has a soul. Soul is the content of information in our vibrational field. The wave function accounts for it mathematically. Your Akashic record is essentially the information within your soul. Okay, now it's going to go into a little bit heady stuff. So, what is the soul light era? In this book, this was written for a certain percentage of humanity that have been stuck in mind over matter. They need validation. They need to see it, feel it, touch it. I have done many Akasha Cricket readings. I've done them for you. I did some yesterday. But it doesn't mean that people believe it. 
there were people that were watching that turned it off instantly because it butted up against their belief systems. There were people that tuned into it that friended me because it resonated with them. People are where they're at. It's okay. There's no judgment, but we all are on this path together. The Solite era is about oneness, oneness thinking, oneness heart, oneness process, oneness uh, activity. The fastest paths to that are love and forgiveness. It is the uh, one force to the other, actually, because we all originally are from Creator, and Creator is the the ultimate essence of love. Love is creator, creator is love. So there was no such thing as forgiveness. It wasn't needed, wasn't necessary. It's just, it just love. But when creator decided to exhale and expand itself, yin and yang were formed. Yin and yang is the beginning of creation. So I've done this before, but there are some new people here. So this is Master Shah's teachings. This is not my teaching. This is Master Shah's. Go read his books. At the top of the circle is one. From one is formed two. What is two? Two is heaven and mother earth, yin and yang. From two, it comes three. What is three? Three is not human being. That's the mistake. People, I made it, even though I heard it a couple times. Three is not human being. Three is everything. Everything. Okay? Now, this is still very limited information because we say heaven and mother earth and fr from heaven and mother earth everything is created but that's equally not fully true it's true for us here in humanity because that's about as big as our mind can grasp but from one all things were created that means planets outside of here where life outside of here is operating okay that's not an earth that's a different planet and there is life over there and so from one all things were created but for our comprehension from one came two, heaven and mother earth. And from heaven and mother earth, all things were created, including humanity. So we're at the bottom of the, of the, uh, of the circle here. Three, we're, at, we're down here. And the Solite era is the in-breath of creation. It is reverse creation. It is the beginning of the return to the soul from which we originated from. That is what the soul light era is. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything that Master Shah has brought to humanity came through him from Source Creator. He is just a vessel. He was simply a very, very well respected Qigong master, a very highly respected man who did very high level miracle level healing with an acupuncture needle and, and wide open spiritual channels. But he was not someone that God talked to directly until about 20 years ago. And he had to kind of shake his head a lot to figure out that that was really happening too. And then wisdom came and books came and he was given uh, power to deliver creator's power through him uh, to deliver miracle healing blessings 20 years ago. Don't believe me? That's okay. I'm not holding any punches. I'm not going to sugarcoat. It's your problem if you're not able to absorb or accept. That's ego. If you're truly on a spiritual path, open your mind. If you're truly on a spiritual path, you say, I can't really accept this now, but a spiritual aspirant, someone who wants to awaken, allows themselves to be educated to the point where they can make a choice based on education, not based on ego response. That's a true awakened person. So my encouragement is to don't believe, but also don't turn off. My suggestion is to become informed and aware because all it takes is for you to pick up some books and read them, listen to some audio books, receive a miracle blessing, uh, come to my 12 week open spiritual channels class, many different ways in which you can get validation of the efficacy of this wisdom. But Master Shah takes no credit for any of the information that came through these books. None. He offers a miracle healing. Somebody's there to your back pain goes away. Cancer disappears. Thousands of them. Not, not a few. Thousands of them. He takes zero credit. None. He gives all credit to Source Creator. <clears throat> that is what's called an unconditional universal servant. That is called unconditional service. And that is the ultimate level of the Soul Light era. So a human being has been asked to 
be the ultimate version of what the ultimate human being should be like on earth today. Now we have all known different ones who have done a, a phenomenal job. They'll be put on this massive altar. Jesus, Buddha, Krishna's, many other well-known uh, beings from humanity. Certainly Master Shah, uh, I'm not going to say he is one of them, but I can tell you on earth at this time, <clears throat> he has that same level of communication with the Creator because he is delivering that miracle level of healing and that miracle level of wisdom to the planet today to usher forth the awakening of the soul light era to bring and be a <clears throat> a representative example of what is unconditional service because how do we move towards unconditional service how do we move towards selflessness how do we move towards clearing the heart from all of the blockages of the pain of that person leaving me and, and, and the, 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 the sheer suffering, you know, when, we, when a life is lost and our hearts are so closed. How can we move individually and collectively as souls towards oneness with those kinds of blockages? Very, very difficult. You have to have um, current, real, now, current to our life, the life that we live now kind of wisdom that is applicable in life now, okay? Sure, Buddha and Jesus say forgive, 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 but there are one or two sentences here or there. They're not uh, written in such a way or taught in such a way where we can apply them in the real world now. This is why I love Master Shah. Every single book, he gives 20 transmissions and 40 examples, written examples, walks you through forgiveness practices because he knows that's what's going to open your heart. That's what's going to clear the blockages. Forgiveness, because forgiveness wasn't needed at original creation. We were all love. Forgiveness became needed when we started separating from the purity that we originally came from. And now that the Soul Light era has come to bring us all back towards the light, Forgiveness is the key to, uh, first of all, elevating our frequency, then our loved one's frequencies, our family's frequencies, our friends' and neighbors' frequencies, our cities' and towns' frequencies, the country's frequencies, and then all humanity. It is starts at an individual level. <clears throat> when you have a, a human being that walks the talk, it helps a lot. So again, I encourage you to learn more, read the soul's books. You will start to comprehend on a far deeper level. Uh, somebody asked, when does a 12-week class start? Go to my webpage, asoulhealer.com, A-S-O-U-L, healer.com. Go to the, uh, near the bottom of the first page and you'll see the link to, to the 12-week program. It starts first week of February, okay? All right. Welcome, Angie. Welcome, Catherine. And welcome, uh, KL Leah. Okay. So now I am going to lead us all through a simple forgiveness practice to validate what is soul power. Why is it so pertinent? Now I'm going to use another book. This one's called Divine Transformation. Actually, one of my favorites came out in about 2010. And Okay, I just flipped to a page and now we're going to do this practice. So this, is, this is the one I flipped to, so that's what I'm going to do. And because I flipped to a page where Master Shah has transmitted power into this book, I will transmit it to you. This is your gift. This is a complimentary blessing. There are different layers of power. There is golden power, rainbow power, crystal power. Thank you, Shelley, for your beautiful comments. I'm so grateful that my 12-week program has served you. <clears throat> so Master Shah puts in his books what's called transmissions. These are light balls. You only need to have uh, the ability to feel energy or have third eye. You will never again question, does this really come out of the book and come to you and come to your soul and impact your life? So if you would like to receive this transmission, this will be for divine sincerity, not human sincerity, creator sincerity. OK, 
okay? Very, very pure. This is what this blessing will be. This is what I flipped to. So if you'd like to receive that, then just tell heaven, yes, I'd like to receive. If not, tell heaven, uh, no, no, thank you, not at this time. I'm not interested. I need to become a little more informed because you can always get this book on your own and read it and receive it that way, okay? So prepare to receive. <clears throat> Sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Put your feet flat on the floor. Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth, very gently, near the front of your teeth. Nice and relaxed, no forcing. Be very, very relaxed. Bring your thoughts, your mind, and your breath into your lower abdomen. And see if you can observe any sensations or see anything if you're your third eye. Uh, Catherine, you've joined us. So I'm going to ask Catherine O'Shea to uh, share with us her third eye images of what happens when I do this transmission. Okay? <clears throat> so prepare to receive. Dear Master Shah, thank you for the authority to offer this divine order from your book. To all of those watching and listening on the podcast or watching this in the future as appropriate if they've said they would like to receive it. Prepare. Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, and divine rainbow liquid spring of divine sincerity, soul, Transplant. E Transmission. Prepare. Divine order. Divine rainbow light ball and divine rainbow liquid spring of divine sincerity. Mind transplant. E e Transmission. Pay attention. Divine order. Divine rainbow light ball and divine rainbow liquid spring of divine sincerity body transplant. Prepare. E Transmission. Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid springs of divine sincerity, soul and body transplants. Join as one in the Ming Min. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yo. Turn on 24 7 transmission. You are all very, 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 very blessed. Welcome, uh, Diane Schoen Schoenfeld. You came in a little late, so I don't know if you received that. Actually, you have to ask her. You have to. Uh, Go back and watch it because you would, would have needed to say you are ready to receive it. <clears throat> um, okay. So, um, Catherine, please report what you saw with your third eye. Anybody else, please report what you saw. Uh, I will do a short soul reading on the value of this transmission. And then we will practice with it. So this is a soul talent. Everyone has this ability. The soul light era reveals these abilities. I've simply practiced with this master for nine, ten years. So I helped to harness these abilities to a high level. For those that join my 12-week program, you go to my website on, on the bottom of the first page, asoulhealer.com. It's, it's listed above the video. Uh, you can join the program. It starts February 5, but this is how you open your spiritual channels. So this is an example of open spiritual channels. So I'll do a reading on the value of this uh, blessing. How? I am the soul of the divine rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid springs, soul, mind, body transplant of divine sincerity. I was formed and created in the heart of your beloved creator. And I most willingly and joyfully came to each and every one of you instantly. I came through the crown of your head and into your heart chakra, filling the spaces where there was darkness, clearing blockages related to negativity, clearing blockages related to insecurity and the lack of self-love for sincerity can only occur when the heart 
is open. And for many, <coughs> the inability to be sincere is because of heart blockages and negativity. There is a questioning. These souls have been hurt. They had had an open heart, but were hurt a few too many times. Therefore, they lack sincerity in their thoughts, words, and actions. This is but a small, very small understanding of what I have come here to do. When you apply my transmission to any of your requests in life, I carry in me your beloved Creator's frequency, and this melts blockages of your request. Chant, for, for example, the practice you will shortly do in any condition or occasion for at least five minutes and you will see the results. It has been my deepest and highest honor to have been transmitted to your souls on this day. This is the soul of the divine rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid springs, soul mind body transplant of divine sincerity how 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 thank you thank you thank you <clears throat> excuse me so thank you to that beautiful soul everything has a soul that was the wisdom of soul light era everything has a soul this is an intangible how do you believe this came to you maybe maybe not it's, n it's not my responsibility to convince you Awaken your spiritual channels. Move into the soul light era sooner than later. You will not question it. <clears throat> okay, so I see here. Um, Sue Bly says she felt the vibrations. Kristen said cool tingling waves. Nina saw a purple flame. Uh, Sasha wasn't ready. Um, Dylan, he saw some golden light shining out each time Master Paul gave the transmission. Uh, I'm just a vessel through which it came. Thank you, Master Shah. <clears throat> Angie Taylor says, thank you, thank you, thank you. Deborah had, had tingles in her crown chakra. Yeah. Yes, purple light. Um, saw a being, says Sharon. And uh, Kristen, I hope you're still with us. I don't see any comments yet. Um, good evening, Elizabeth. Uh, beyond grateful, thank you, thank you. You're all very welcome. Okay, we'll see if Kristen, uh, excuse me, if uh, Catherine um, posts any ever third eye images. She's got a very strong third eye. <coughs> uh, so there was no transmission for the chakras, Elizabeth. You can go back and watch this again. This was a transmission um, that came to the heart chakra, and. Uh, you can go back and watch and receive, okay? Uh, Roshandel, I saw light infusion through darkness for the first two transmissions and started sneezing for the third time. Then he saw fire, red, orange flames. Beautiful. Thank you for that sharing, Roshan. I tell you, there's over 45 transmissions in that one book alone. Imagine if you picked up 10 of Master Shah's books, you'd have almost 500 of these light balls coming into your body. I tell you, they will change your life. It's people, they need to wake up more. Truly grateful. Great. <clears throat> now, we will do a practice. Okay? So, how do you do a practice? Remember what the wisdom said. The wisdom is, this is a, a transmission from Divine's heart to your heart. It's not temporary. It's there. It's permanent. It stays with you as part of your soul. The soul carries information. This was a very high frequency piece of information that came from Creator's heart to your heart. It's here to serve you. All that's required is you to remember that and ask it to turn on. You don't even have to remember the whole name. Just, dear my divine sincerity transmission or my divine sincerity light ball. Okay? It has uh, intelligence it knows instantly you're calling upon it <clears throat> if your light bulb is in your house it's not going to light up the house until you turn on the switch this is part of your home now it's part of your soul but you must consciously turn it on to receive the value that it can offer you 
Comprende? And so let us use it to serve us. So we're going to use this to clear blockages in our mental body, in our mental body, okay? So that could be negative mindsets, attitudes, beliefs, ego, it could be attachments, it could be um, inappropriate ways of thinking, jealousies, a lot of things happening in the mental body. So if you are comfortable, please repeat after me. This is what's called saying hello. And Master Shah's practice, we incorporate four powers. We put our hands in a certain hand position. <clears throat> we do calling forth the souls to, to assist us with additional clearing blessings. We chant, or in this case, do the mantra, uh, the, the repeating of the clearing of the blockages. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, we do the mind power, which... Uh, is closing our eyes, okay, and, and seeing light in the area of request. We are going to focus on light, rainbow light, in our heart center, clearing mind-related blockages. Mind blockages are not in the brain, guys. Mind blockages are whole body, okay? Mind blockages are whole body. And by this came to our heart. So we're going to visualize rainbow light in the heart, and it'll radiate out to clear the blockages. So if comfortable, please repeat after me with your eyes closed. Close your eyes. If you can see me, your eyes are open. Focus on the rainbow light in your heart. Repeat. Dear soul, mind, and body of the divine rainbow light ball and rainbow liquid spring of divine sincerity, soul, mind, body transplants, I love you, honor, and appreciate you. You have the power to clear my soul, mind, body blockages of my mental body. <clears throat> and you can include a specific condition if you'd like. You can say depression, bipolar, anxiety, stress. You can add that if you'd like. You have the power, continue, you have the power to offer divine forgiveness for my mistakes in past lives and in this lifetime. You have the power to heal my mental body, including that special condition you just made, mentioned. I am very grateful. I cannot thank you enough. Dear the soul, continue to repeat, dear the soul, whom my ancestors and I have hurt or harmed in all lifetimes, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Please forgive me and my ancestors for our mistakes, for harming you. I sincerely apologize. This is sincerity, remember. <clears throat> I cannot honor you enough. Dear all souls who have harmed me in this lifetime and all lifetimes, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. I forgive each and every one of you <coughs> completely and unconditionally. Please accept my forgiveness. Thank you. So visualize the rainbow light ball and we will chant divine sincerity rainbow light ball clears my mind blockages. Divine sincerity rainbow light ball clears my mind blockages. <clears throat> I want you to gently tap on your message center, your heart center. Not your heart, your heart center in the center of your chest. Repeat. <clears throat> Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears mind blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind blockages. Thank you. Say it with sincerity. Divine sincerity. Rainbow light ball clears my mind blockages. Thank you. <clears throat> Divine sincerity. Rainbow light ball clears my mind blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity. Rainbow light ball clears my mind blockages. Thank you. 
divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, <clears throat> rainbow light ball, clears my mind blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, <clears throat> rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. <clears throat> Chant silently. Visualize the rainbow light ball clearing blockages. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. Three more times. Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. <clears throat> Divine sincerity, rainbow light ball, clears my mind's blockages. Thank you. One more time with deepest gratitude. Divine sincerity clears my mind blockages. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How, how, how. <clears throat> okay. So the soul light era is clearing the blockages so that our soul leads the way, not our mind. In order for us to move from the mind over matter to soul over matter, we have to clear the mind and the heart blockages. We do that through copious amounts of true and authentic forgiveness practice. At the human level, it's good. But when you apply Tao Source Calligraphy, when you apply the transmissions in the books, when you apply love, peace, harmony, music, higher frequencies, it is like using a bulldozer to clear the forgiveness blockages instead of a spoon. Who, would, who wouldn't want to clear out the heart and mind blockages with a bulldozer shovel instead of a spoon? Master Shah is a benevolent being, an unconditional servant to humanity, who brings shovels the size of bulldozers <clears throat> in the form of divine treasures, divine transmissions, uh, power in the songs, power in his calligraphies, like the newest book, The Greatest Love. This calligraphy in here is astounding. When somebody uses these frequency-based treasures to clear the blockages, clear our mind blockages, our heart blockages, we then are on a very fast trajectory to our soul's highest potential. It's when we try to do it at our level without this kind of assistance that it's very, very difficult to accomplish. So I hope the explanation today assisted you to further understand what is the Soul Light Era, who is Master Shah, why is it important to do these kinds of practices, and what these kinds of practices look like, how to apply them. <coughs> Um, for those that are interested in accelerating their spiritual journey in a focused, uh, um, real-time, this is how you clear the mind and heart blockages. 
When you do that, what naturally occurs is your opening of your spiritual channels. What naturally occurs is your alignment to your soul and its higher intention. What naturally occurs is the release of pain and suffering, emotional, physical, mental pain and suffering. What naturally occurs is a better life simply because even though the course is called 12 weeks to opening your spiritual channels, when you're clearing those kinds of blockages, it's almost an impossibility to not feel better uh, and be on a much higher trajectory uh, in life. So I encourage you to go to my homepage at asoulhealer.com and register for that course. You just go down to three quarters of the way and you'll see it there. Um, I'll read some of the comments here. <clears throat> uh, Sue says she saw all the blockages floating away. Wow. Yeah, I tell you, it's very powerful. Lisa, the atmosphere is shifting. Uh, Angie Taylor, feeling more aligned and ready to face whatever she needs to face. Um, it was quick compared to how long it takes to her during meditation, said Sue. Yes, these are heaven frequencies. These are not a human trying to get into a heaven frequency. Heaven frequency was transmitted to you. You are now have this tool. You need only remember divine sincerity uh, rainbow ball. Please turn on. Simple. Apply it to your meditation. Apply it to your headache. Apply it to bless your son or daughter. Apply it to do better in school. Apply it to your finances. This is the power of divine frequency. Master Shah is not a normal person, guys. Learn more. Deborah says, clear aqua sparkling water she saw. Christina Dacus. Uh, Sasha says she loves it. Diana feels lighter. <clears throat> Thank you, Vanessa, for your comments on the 12-week course. Okay. So it has been my honor to serve you. I'm a little late to go pick up my wife, so I'm going to fly away now. Um, I'm feeling much lighter myself. I hope you are too. I look forward to serving you tomorrow. If you're new and you enjoyed this, you'd like to know more. <clears throat> I've been doing these live streams for a year. It's always to serve you. It's always to awaken you on your soul journey. It's always complimentary. Of course, I do offer high-level healing and blessings. Yes, you have to pay a little for those, but this is designed to awaken you and build your trust so that when you get those higher level healings and blessings, you know they're going to work. It's been my honor to serve you. Please share with your friends. If you're new, make sure you like and subscribe, and I will be back tomorrow, same time. Bye-bye, everybody.